His voice is synonymous with Texas Tech sports. Now he stops, jump shoots, and scores. For five decades, when Red Raider fans tuned in to football or basketball games, it was Jack Dale on the other end. The 1973 Gator Bowl was opened with the stirring ride of the Texas Tech mask rider. I can remember being eight or nine years old, sitting in my bedroom uh, up in Amarillo, Texas, listening to him call a Tech basketball game. And I would act out the game as he was broadcasting. And every time a Tech player would shoot, I would shoot. And every you know, every time they would score, I would try to score. And it was a thrill to meet him initially because you, you had heard him. And then you had the opportunity to work with somebody who was already you know pretty highly thought of. Was was a lot of fun. During his time on the mic, plenty changed, whether it be radio equipment, venues, or even head coaches. But Jack Dale never did. He was considerate. He was a gentleman, and he carried that through from when he first arrived in Lubbock and, and until this week and until his last, literally his last days. He was such a commensurate, kind gentleman like no one I've ever seen in this business. He was a very unassuming guy who had a great talent, and when the game started, that's when you really uh, saw the full depth of his talent. Pass goes in, time runs out. Bob Knight has won his 800th ball game. Jack called his final football game in 1999. Texas Tech on top, 31 to 28, with less than eight minutes to play in the game. And in 2003, after more than 1,300 games, the man that called so many games as a kid on his farm in tiny Alma, Kansas, hit the big time, calling his final basketball game in Madison Square Garden. I'm, I'm just really thankful for the opportunity to do this. I hope you enjoyed some of the games. I hope you were able to keep up with what was going on over the years. And this is Jack Dale speaking for our studio board operator, Kyle Schuline, color analyst Michael Lewis, saying so long, everybody.